What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Clash Rec. Today, we're going to talk about Town Hall 10 without Siege Machines. Town Hall 10, extremely difficult without Siege Machines. And we got a live attack here, so watch this while I talk. But Town Hall 10, when you don't have Siege Machines, is one of the more difficult Town Hall levels in the game. Town Hall 11, also very difficult without Siege Machines, but maybe even a little bit easier there, honestly. Let's see what Mix the Dump is going to do here, because he's coming in with a Falcon attack, which is one of the staple attacks when you don't have Siege Machines. Another ones are the Sui Hero Laloon, that's one I'm going to be doing, and also the Queen Charge Mass Baby Dragon. Between those, you can take out a lot of bases, especially when they have single Infernos. The Sui Lalo works really, really well, but this one hopefully is going to work well for makes a dump he's coming in with a queen charge over in the corner by the town hall here and what he's trying to do here is he's trying to clear all the outside buildings to get the valkyries to attack the wall so he's gonna have the queen come down on one side i don't know what that baby dragon was doing up there i guess it can just move all a long way across the base there and not get targeted just some high value right there but the queen is gonna step all the way up in there i don't even know which way she's gonna go i don't think he knows which way she's gonna go but he's just going to wait, and he's going to wait to see which way she wants to go, and then he'll react appropriately. Rage comes down. He has one more Rage to work with and two heal spells. It's a lot. It's a lot of base to move through with only one Rage left, and I think he would have wanted to go through the Infernos first, so he's just going to have to react. He puts his King down on the other side there. Another... Oh, that's the same Baby Dragon. <laughs> Look at that Baby Dragon go. Queen engages the enemy Queen there. She's going to have to use her ability, gets through her, and in come the Valkyries. So they can start to work their way around here. But notice that the Valkyries are not going to attack the wall here. The Valkyries will only ever attack the wall if there are three buildings enclosed by walls, and those are her three closest targets. So that's why she rounded the wall here. And she might round it again unless the Baby Dragon takes out the Mortar. No, she, the Baby Dragon got it. So now the three closest targets that are all enclosed by walls or excuse me, all three of the closest targets are enclosed by walls, so that means the Valkyries will attack the wall, and they did just that. They break into the base here, and they're going to continue on the Rage, making them rip through the base. You catch those healers in the Rage there, and everything will survive very, very nicely. He has a couple of the Valkyries that broke out of the base, once again, but he has the Bullers that are moving on, and they have the heal spell, they have the healers, the Valkyries are on the outside. The Queen can actually reach that Inferno over the wall. This is going to work out quite nicely, I think. It's okay that the Valkyries left. The healers are now switching over to the Valkyries, trying to catch up with them, while the bowlers won't get targeted by the beams of the Inferno because all of the beams are being tanked by the Valkyries and the Queen. The Queen does end up taking down the Inferno with the help of the uh, bowlers there, and the bullet bounces. Not really hitting a lot there, but they're uh, doing all right. The other bowlers are moving in here. They'll take out that cannon. It's looking like it's going to be a three-star for Mixa Dump. No Siege Machine doesn't even need it, guys. Love it. This is one of my favorite strategies at Town Hall 10. And as long as he doesn't time fail here, which he won't because that baby dragon cleared out all the whole top side of the base there. OP. He will land this one with a few seconds to spare. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect, but he got the three star anyways. Nice hit. All right, guys. We're going to go check out a couple more attacks here. And we're going to see some Sui Hero Lalo and the Queen Charge Mass Baby Dragon. And then I'm going to hit some Queen Charge. No, I'm going to hit some uh, Sui Hero Lalo live. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we go. The Queen Charge Mass Baby Dragon. Honestly, this is one of the most fun Town Hall 10 strategies in the game. What we get to do on this one is we get to do a massive Queen Charge. We have all of our resources here to support a Queen Charge. And then we use Baby Dragons to circle the base and clean out the rest. The baby Dragons, they don't need any spell support. They auto enrage as long as you can keep their spacing. So you can just kind of sprinkle them around. They can work their way in and they can take out all the remaining buildings on the base there after the Queen gets into the core and guts it. She has... Uh, two jumps here, and she has three rages to charge in. You can swap out those jumps and go for a quad quake if the quad quake would give you just as much access as the jumps. So pay attention to the uh, how many walls, how many tiles you need to cross there to actually get into the base. In this one, he needed to go across two completely separate intersections here, so it brings a double jump instead of the quad quake. I personally like to take the quad quake because it damages all the structures down to about half health. Look at this arch tower here. He uh, thought the queen might walk over to the archer tower there. So he drops in a couple of balloons to snipe it off while the king was tanking. It doesn't quite get it, but luckily the queen does go into the base here for him. And now he can work his way in, taking out one air defense, taking out an inferno, taking out the enemy queen, continuing on. He'll get another air defense, another expo. And as you approach this minute and 30 mark, we need to start thinking. I need to start thinking about where I want to start the Lalo. On this side, we had the king 
we have the inferno we have two air defenses but this air defense right here is kind of exposed and if you can go in here and start the lalo into this bottom area then it'll force the queen towards the other air defense and he still has a rage and a queen ability to be able to push his queen through there so he's going to be just fine if he gets his queen to go that direction so the lalo comes in charges the air defense to protect the baby dragons coming down behind it the baby dragons trying to direct target as many defenses whenever possible but they also need to clear all the trash there so just kind of sprinkle them in they can all work together as long as they aren't clumping up they're gonna be just fine the hound crosses the base there it gets smoked but the queen still healthy her healers are getting targeted by that expo which is not ideal would have liked the queen to actually step up and take that expo but it was more important to have her get more access in the base she did have access to this little void compartment so she technically could have stepped up and taken that expo I don't think it counted for that. No big deal. More baby dragons come down to circle the base there. Remember the arch tower at low health. It's not going to do much as long as the baby dragon can reach it. And the queen tanking all the expos. Even her healer, they're tanking the expo. The expos do turn on the balloons there a little bit. But too little too late. He has plenty to go. One more baby dragon in the tank here. They can toss in. Keeping up. Uh, are just being careful here not to let them clump up too much the queen almost goes down here but she has her ability remember she has her ability so she really wasn't under any threat tons of baby dragons sweep through and finish it out i don't know what the starting time was on this one but he started a lot it took the baby dragons from when he started them about a minute and a half to clear the base there let's play again so we can see what the starting time was it was just about two minutes and 45 seconds so yeah, about the minute 30 mark. That's about how much time the baby dragons need to clear the base. So keep that in mind there as we do this attack. But let's dive into some more here. Because the next one I want to look at is a miner attack. So miners. Also really, really strong. You can do a mass miner or you can do a queen charge miner. If you're doing a mass miner, then I highly recommend you do it against bases that don't have a anything other than the hound in the cc and you want to keep your heroes away from the hound especially your queen your king i guess it doesn't really matter the hound can follow him all day but you have to be on point with a poison if there's a hound and a blue in the cc otherwise you're gonna get wrecked if they have like a hound and archers then mass miners works really really well but when you're doing a queen charge miner, you can deal with any CC. So he's going to come in here with this queen from the far left side, and he's going to work her in. He's got a couple minions, baby dragons working around, archers to go pick off any free buildings that he can get. Because remember, the miners will attack, they'll attack any target. So if you don't go trim all those buildings that are free, then you're just making so the miners have to go out there and take them out later. So a handful of archers can go a long way here to make these miners do some work. So the queen, she needs to go in and she needs to take out the CC. And he can put the king on the other side to go take out the enemy king is what I'm thinking. I haven't actually watched his attack here, so I'm just playing it by ear to see what he does here and trying to use my experience to judge what he's thinking. But archers, look at those archers getting some huge value on the outside there. And you can see where the miners want to come in. As soon as he pulls the CC, the miners can come in right from the bottom and they can start to work their way into this inferno, forcing the queen upward on the base there. She'll continue working along the outside. Nope coming up from the top side i guessed wrong i guessed wrong the king his main job there is to go and funnel the miners the miners charge in here he has uh in a cc more miners and a hog and he can charge in take out this inferno and work his way through the expos lots of damage right there when you go into those high high concentration uh areas of damage right there then it can be a little bit of trouble for miners and hogs in general because it means that if they all lock in the same target then they can burn through it even with a heal spell but he puts a rage down to speed them along so they can get through that faster and that does do the trick there he has one more heal to go through the bomb towers in the middle of the base there queen takes one of the bomb towers so that frees him up a little bit but the archers over on the flank there they did so much work to clear all the miners uh trash over there so they could go right into the cleanup and into the back side of the base here and not get distracted for too long out there so they regroup Instead of getting stuck on the trash out there, and he pushes into the last inferno. Nice attack here by KYZ, and he brings in the triple here with a lot of swag by the looks of it. Looks like if he gets to that inferno, there's nothing left to stop these miners, and he absolutely wrecked it. So, very nice hit. Now, we need to go do a su Sui Lalo. Should we look at one first? I feel like we should look at one first so we can see how it flows. All right, guys, here's the Sui Hero Lalo. And this is one of the strongest Town Hall 10 strategies that you can do when they have a Hound in the CC because you never have to deal with it. So if you have a base and it's already been attacked and you found out there's a Hound in the CC, then you can go in and wreck him with the Sui Hero Lalo because you never have to deal with that CC as long as you never put your heroes inside of the range of that CC and then only use air troops after that. So the Queen is going to follow that King there. She's going to take out an air defense and take out an arch tower. So I do like to do this a little bit differently here. 
He went in and he got some decent value with his heroes, but I like to punch my queen in and take out an Inferno whenever possible. So he brought two heal spells because there are two multi-Infernos on his base, and that's a lot of splash damage that can mow down these balloons very, very quickly. A couple of haste to carry him in. He puts down the Rage and the Skeleton spell to take out the enemy queen. Those have to go over the top of the queen. It looks like the queen ended up jumping the wall there and jumped right under the balloon splash damage and went down anyways. A couple more balloons to go and take out this Wizard Tower here, and he can continue working in the back of the base another hound comes down from the back of the base there sprinkling in blooms from all sides it is a very difficult attack if you're not used to doing lalos so definitely practice this one and it can feel a little bit spammy but try to uh control your balloon placement so you direct target as many defenses as possible you're gonna need what three balloons for an archer tower three or four balloons for a cannon you're gonna need a minimum of four preferably five for a wizard tower you're gonna need uh what five for an inferno these are the values of balloons that you need to one shot them so try to as you first start to surround the base there try to make so that you're targeting the right number of balloons to take out the building that they're first going to approach there and one shot it and that's going to make your balloons move seamlessly through the base there and don't miss any don't leave any straggling defenses behind make sure every single one of them has balloons on it so that they all collapse in the backside and then you cast a couple spells there and maybe hold on to a couple to go and act as some backside defenses like he did there and you will wreck it guys he had tons of time left here to go clean up he didn't even put anything on the town hall so he's gonna have to go all all the way down there and get it that would have sucked to get an awesome attack like that and then miss the town hall so like i said i'm going to be doing a freeze wall break into an inferno and that way i don't need an extra heal spell the inferno, the multi-infernos are the biggest threat to the sweet lalo so let's go plan out an attack here and let's go see if we can make it happen guys all right so we'll put that in five times four and take down that town hall so those were against us. We need to go and land some of our own because we're getting killed this war, honestly. We're we're struggling. These guys have definitely had a little bit more practice at Tunnel 10 without Siege Machines than us. We normally play in tournaments that allow Siege Machines, so it's difficult. It's difficult, but let's go make it happen. So five minutes ago, I went to attack, and I talked you through the plan here, and I never actually pressed record. So I was sitting there talking to nobody, because the recorder wasn't on, we did end up getting the triple here. I had to go take a break for a minute just to go yell at myself for a second because I'm an idiot. And we got the triple though. We got the triple. And I really wanted to show it to you guys live, but unfortunately I can't. So we're just going to have to look at the replay here. As you can see on the space here, we have this Inferno over here on the right side that is not covered by the CC range. So that means my heroes can wall break into that inferno and they can take it down without ever actually pulling the cc meaning we can leave it in there we don't need a poison we don't need any archers that can draw the cc away so like if there's a hound and you do pull it then you want to draw it away with an archer and so i sent in a test wall breaker here to go trip a small bomb in that corner and then i froze up the inferno and all the defenses in the area then i sent in the rest of the wall breakers and after the king and that wizard had cleared out everything out of the way there i i delay for just a little bit there and then i send in my queen and she can step all the way in and she can take out the inferno she can take out a wizard tower she can go in as much value as possible Mainly she's going after the Inferno though. I was a little worried about the King and so I was uh, I was ready to freeze him if I needed to to make sure she got to the Inferno. But the Inferno was the main target there. She steps up, almost gets the Arch Tower down. We pre-cast a whole bunch of hay spells to cover the defenses so that way then the balloons as they move in, they're going to stop still inside of the hay spells. That way they're going to get a boost right into the next defenses. Pause it right here. I forgot a Skeleton spell. I forgot a skeleton spell, and so I didn't have a way to deal with that queen. Normally, you would put a skeleton spell on the queen there and a rage to make sure that the skeletons can take her down. But in this case, I completely forgot it. So I froze her and the inferno together, catching the sweeper as well, and I had to rage and hope that the pups would take her down. So highly recommend that you bring a skeleton spell. Don't do it like I just did there. We'll press play again here and watch it go through. But there's so many balloons there. And I just kind of spammed him in. Honestly, I didn't do anything crazy with my deployment there. I just kind of tossed them all down. Hold on to just a couple here. The pups do take out the queen inside of the skeleton or inside of the rage there. And then we had a couple of balloons coming on the backside. They were a little bit late. I'm not gonna lie. We had a Tesla up there that I completely didn't even notice when I was looking at the scout. So we didn't get any distraction on that either way. And then the balloons are able to finish it out. So it was a nice attack here. And I did make some mistakes. We still got the three star though. No siege machine. 
didn't make a difference. We lost a lot of our cleanup here to this wizard tower because the balloons were slow to get to it, but we had more than enough time here to finish it out here because this attack goes so fast. I mean, that's sort of the most difficult thing about it because a lot of players out there struggle with these fast attacks because so much is happening all at once. It does take practice, guys. I'm not going to tell you that you're going to be able to just pick this up right away. You're going to have to practice it and you're going to have to use it a lot. Use it for farming, honestly. Especially when they have like hound uh, events and stuff like that going on. Just farm with this. And if you just farm with like one or two hounds and you just get used to deploying loons fast and casting your spells in the right spot, you can actually do a loony in farming army and do really, really well and efficient with your farming in addition to getting practice with this attack here. So highly recommend that. But I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. You know what, guys? Forget everything I just said. We are going to do my other attack here. I was going to end the video with just the first attack there, but since we didn't actually catch it live, we have to go in and we have to get some redemption and we need to go in and catch this one live and get the three stars. So we're going to be attacking this base right here. Let's play the replay because this one does have a hound in CC and Doctor went in and tried to do a mass minor attack, which is also a really strong attack when they have a hound in the CC. If you can deal with the balloon, because the balloon with the hound there can cause problems to the miners if they don't get it with the poison. So be very, very careful with that. Funnels out on one side with a P.E.K.K.A. and uses a minion on the other side there. What we're going to do, we're going to do a uh, Sui Hero Lalo. So we don't want to pull the CC, but we want to go after an Inferno, if at all possible. If I can take an Inferno with my hero, so we're going to be really, really well off here. So... I'm going to go in with a uh, baby dragon, probably to clear the town hall and the stuff on this side. And then I'm going to put my king right up into this uh, 1030 area. And I'm going to send in my queen to wall break into this inferno. She's got a wall break right in that corner by the P.E.K.K.A. there. And it looks like a small bomb right there. So we'll be careful and we'll make sure we send in a test wall breaker to trip that small bomb in advance. And we'll wall break right into that corner. We'll set my queen into the inferno here. Maybe she can even round the corner afterwards and grab the air defense. I don't know about that. But it's okay, because I think we're going to start the Lalo right into this air defense and this air defense right here. So they'll be all right. They'll get some wide tanking coverage as we move through. And then we'll get the skeleton spell to take out the queen. Notice the other infernal position. It's kind of on the other side of the queen. So... You gotta think about where that inferno is gonna be striking when you put your skeleton spell down. You gotta wait for the balloons to actually pass over the top of the queen there and tank up all the beams of that inferno before you put the skeleton spell down. Otherwise, the queen might survive right through it. So let's be smart about that and let's make sure we do that right. And we'll potentially be able to get to that queen and we'll burn right to the other side of the base just like we did in the last one. We'll freeze up that inferno or heal through it, maybe both. We'll see. We'll play it by ear there. Does take some practice, and I'm just kind of going muscle memory here to actually put my spells down in the right position. So I think we have troops ready. We do. We have the skeleton spell. <laughs> we got the skeleton spell all this time. All right, so let's go make it happen, guys. Let's go. We're going live. I am recording this time. I'm recording. All right, we're going live in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, so... Let's put the baby dragon to get a head start. We'll put a balloon down just in case there's a black mine right there. With the baby dragon down, we'll put the king right here. And we will add a minion to that town. No, I don't really need a minion. I put my queen out there, I guess. So baby dragon, take down that town hall. Let's, uh, do you want to test just yet? I'll test right now for the wall break. So let's uh, test it while the king is in there distracting everything. Okay. And now my uh, queen can start up here. Let's get ready for king. Go wall break. Okay, so the queen should step in. Oh, got some ground skellies there. Not a big deal. They're going to be all right. Okay, and uh, get ready for ability. Now? Perfect. All right, so let's go with the Lalo. Let's go haste in advance. So one, two... Okay, we got a third one over here. Go out to the corner. Try to collapse in. A couple of minions down around. And let's get ready for this queen approach here. So as soon as the balloons are into the core here, we'll put another haste over here. We'll put a haste over here. We'll get ready for the rage skeleton spell onto that queen. We'll uh, freeze up this inferno. We will haste again somewhere in the core right here. All right, and we'll haste here. 
Okay, so that should catch most everything here. We have one wizard tower on the back side. I think we'll be all right getting through. If we get that air defense down, the air defense does not go down. We're inside of the heal spell though, so we'll be able to burn through a lot of that relatively fast here. If we get to this other arch tower, I think we'll be able to regroup here and we will get it down. So we did get the arch tower. Moving to the last Tesla here. If we get that down, then we should hopefully have enough health there to get through the last wizard tower. I think we're gonna get it. Looks like the balloons have spaced out here just a little bit. That wizard tower, is it gonna be the death of me? Come on, get to the wizard tower. I think we have enough health here. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Get it. Oh, red bomb. Oh, it's a low health. I don't know if we're gonna get it. Come on. Come on. It depends on where that king stands, right? Okay, we got the. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, they're going to the king pad first. Get the king pad down. Okay, we got the king pad. Oh, we're going to get that king. Oh, shoot. Are they going to draw? Oh, he's going to draw. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, right? <laughs> it was just so low of health. I needed one more hit on it. Oh, rip 99%. Oh, all right. All right. Well, I feel a little bit better that we got one live, guys. So make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll get out of this war with 199%. Make sure you guys, if you enjoy this content, you go into your settings tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and where it says support a creator, you type in code Eric. If this uh, content is helpful and you want to help support the channel here, that'll make so that 5% of any in-app purchase that you make will end up going to support the channel here. So if you buy anything from that store, go down there and put in a creator code to just help us out. That does expire once every seven days. So buy it or put it in right before you buy a pack and that'll make so that it actually goes towards it. You know? All right, guys. Hugely appreciated. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next one.